Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrance. I'm here with my good friend Steven. Hey everyone. So I'm going to leave Steven's show down below. Definitely go check out his YouTube channel. He has amazing content from designers, niche, and indies. And he has great top 10 lists. And he does giveaways here and there. So definitely go to his channel and click that red subscribe button. You'll learn a lot about fragrances. Thank you. No problem. So today we're doing a cool fragrance battle video between three fragrances. This video here we're going to talk about Tom Ford fragrances. Um, people, we all have our few favorite Tom Ford fragrances, mm -hmm. but today we're talking about ombre leather, and they have Tuscan leather, and we have ombre leather parfum. In this video here, we're going to break down each one and let you know which ones our favorite is from first, second, and third, and the price point and how they perform on our skin and why we love these fragrances. Today we're going to break down each one. So I'm going to have Steven talk about Tuscan leather. I don't own that one. I smelled it off camera and he's going to break down a little bit and I'll tell him how I feel about the other two because I smelled the other two the ombre leather and ombre leather parfum and i only own the parfum version i'll let steven talk about because he's the guest so thank you um tuscan leather is a fragrance that i bought many many years ago this is a fragrance composed by harry fremont and it definitely has that leathery suede kind of a vibe in there now in my opinion the main difference between this one and then the ombre leathers is the fact that with this one, you do get a little bit of that raspberry and saffron thing in the opening. I think thyme is also oh, listed thyme, as an yeah. ingredient. So a little aromatic, a little spicy. The saffron really adds to that leather accord. It's often used in the synthesis of a leather accord. And so for this one, I'm getting the fruitiness in conjunction with the leather. I know some people say this one smells like cigarette butts or an ashtray. I personally don't get that. I just think it smells like leather and raspberry. Pretty simple. Now, of course, with these two, this is my bottle as well. Of course, Chris has a lot of experience with this one too. Recently, you purchased Ombre Leather Parfum, right? Yes, I recently got this two weeks ago. Uh, it was funny, Macy's and Nordstrom was running 15% off sale. So I nice. sent a text to Steve and he's like, oh, that's awesome. So they had a bunch of designers and um, fragrances on sale. So I got it for 170 with tax. So for the big size. Yeah, yeah. so and the little small one's a little bit cheaper, but by the time you add tax, you're only saving a couple bucks. So why not go for the bigger bottle? Absolutely. So now, the new one here, the Parfum, it does have no similarity to the uh, uh, Tom Ford ombre leather just to read the other one But there's a little bit more of a freshness in the new parfum and it does have iris or oris and it does have um Tobacco or they call it yeah. green tobacco in it. I feel like a little bit more fresher I said in my first impression that it's more easier to wear now the one that came up before that's ombre leather the original one all black bottle My girlfriend Kelly didn't like it and it's fine leather is not everybody's cup of tea Some no. females don't like leather it can be harsh leather, it can be kind of smoky leather, or it can just be like a fresher, a fresh leather seats in a car or a fresh leather jacket. This is interesting what you brought up. You mentioned the iris and the green tobacco. I know violet is also in the note breakdown, and I am getting that iris in here. So it's funny, like it doesn't smell like lipstick or a cosmetic bag or anything like that. So it's not that type of iris, but you do get a little bit of that starchy quality from it, and it actually smells natural it smells realistic i know when it comes to a lot of prada fragrances you kind of have a certain benchmark for what you consider iris to be in this case it's more similar to the christian dior iris than it is to the prada iris if that makes any sense but this one is really nice like you said it's fresher i think it's a little bit easier to wear than the original ombre leather a little bit more versatile too i definitely do like both of them um, but I understand some people say, hey, Chris, I want one I can wear all year round. And honestly, you can pretty much wear uh, the Ombre of the Parfum from January, December. Now, is it going to be heavy in the fall and winter time? It may not be as heavy to wear, mm -hmm. but rest assured people are going to smell you. But in the spring and summer, it's a lot easier to wear. You're not going to choke yourself out. Nobody's going to be offended by it. I feel like the leather's there, but it's not booming your face. Yeah. The, the oris is there. The violet leaf is there. The green tobacco is there, but it's more in a dry down. So by the time you smell it, the fragrance is closer to the dry down where it's about to be a skin scent. So it's nice, but it's not going to offend anybody with the tobacco note. You're rest assured you're good. Yeah, I can see what you mean too. And in terms of the original ombre leather, well, the original ombre leather was actually in the private blend and it was called ombre leather 16. We're not talking about, I actually don't have that one. The one in the signature collection, this also has cardamom in it. And so with the cardamom that's in here, I think this one is going to be the spicier iteration of the two. Of course, with Tuscan leather, you do have the saffron in here. So that kind of conveys all the spiciness that you need in the opening. 
ending. So I think for that reason, I totally agree with Chris. This is the more versatile one, easier to wear, fresher with the violet and the iris. If you're looking for something that is a tad bit darker, of course, I would certainly go with the original ombre leather. But I think it really all depends on what your occupation is, your line of work, your personal taste. Like you said, uh, Kelly is not a fan of leather. And yes. so a lot of people will, will not be a fan of leather. So it really depends on you going to the store, smelling it for yourself and making that determination like, do I like this, right? Do I want to buy this? I think they're all good releases. Depends on your price point. Uh, between the Parfum and the uh, Ombre Leather, they're around the same price range. They're in that one, uh, I think it's 130 to 160 for a 50 mil, mm -hmm. and it's in that $200 for a 100 mil. So it depends on your taste. If you live in a colder area around the world and you don't get any warmer months, I would say buy the, uh, uh, the Tom Ford uh, Ombre Leather. If you live in more of a hotter climate, I would check out the Parfum, but they're both available at um, Sephora, so spray them on and see if you like them. So these fragrances here, you pretty much, I feel like the Parfum you can wear in the warmer months if maybe you live in Florida, Texas, the hotter climate areas, and I feel like the the original Ombre Leather is more for the colder months. Like me and Steven live here in New Jersey slash uh, Philadelphia area. Yeah. Um, we both travel sometime in New York City for fragrance events, so if you live in colder areas, that's probably a better go-to than the new Parfum. But if you want more of a fresher take and you don't want, you want to wear it all year round, I would go with the Parfum. Especially if you only want to buy one and you want to wear it all year round, that's a better choice in my opinion. But definitely go to Sephora Macy's, spray them on your skin, ask if the sales so she let you do that, and wear it around the mall and see which one yep. you like. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend buying bodies unless you like leather fragrances. And I also think that it's probably redundant to have both of these, even though they are different enough, in my opinion. Um, but it's not redundant to have Tuscan leather in one of these because I think the raspberry and the saffron really sets it apart. And just going back to the seasons, like Chris was saying, I think this one, especially because of the longevity, the performance, Tuscan leather, this one works really, really well in the colder weather. And then you also have that ashy, smoky vibe in the base that you don't necessarily find in the new one. So this one, very office friendly, very work appropriate. And they all come across smelling very like mysterious but like sophisticated at the same time so i think they're all really solid additions to the tom ford lineup i think they're all good now i know people are going to ask me and steven in the comments which one's your favorite so yeah. i'm going to go off of my my first second and third favorite which i would recommend people to try out and steven will give off his after i'm done so at the end of the day i would rather wear the parfum because it's easier to wear my girlfriend does not does not hate it. She doesn't say she loves it, but it's easier to wear. It's appropriate. I've worn it to work, and people at work like it. So that's my number one. Number two would probably be uh, ombre leather, just because I liked that one from the get-go, but Kelly said it was a no-go, so it probably would never hit my collection. It's okay. And I do like Tuscan leather. I think that one's awesome. I love the presentation of the private blend. So it's a little more pricey, yes, but... Yeah. That's my third favorite. Whoa, good question. So I think my favorite will probably be Tuscan Leather. Uh, I just have a lot of experience with this one. I've worn it a lot. I'm really, really enjoying it. Definitely one of my favorite fragrances. Incredibly long lasting too. My second favorite, just because if I want to deviate from this one, I want something that's quite different. So I'm going to go with the Parfum. This one with the violet, the iris, really opens it up, makes it quite friendly. And then, of course, in third place, I'll probably go with ombre leather, but they're all really close to one another. I think they're all great. I'm just thinking in terms of my circumstances and my situation, what do I see myself really benefiting from in terms of diversifying the types of fragrances that I wear? But that's what I would say, first place, second place, and then third place. That's awesome. I think you should go to your local store, ladies and gentlemen, spray them on your skin and walk around the mall and see which one you like. I think that's the best bet. We give you recommendations, but at the end of the day, you're gonna buy what you like. At, Absolutely. At so thank you guys for watching another video. I'd like to thank Steven for being another video. Oh, of course, been my putting pleasure. putting out so many videos, <laughs> so I'd like to thank him for taking time out of his busy schedule to do a few videos with me. I appreciate it a lot, man. Anytime, of yeah. course. So if you like Tom Ford fragrances, leave a comment down below. What's your favorite Tom Ford fragrance? What's your favorite ombre leather fragrance? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna leave Steven's channel down below. Definitely go click that subscribe button to show your support because you. I know you love fragrances, so that's the channel to go to. I'll make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you click the bell icon and make sure you hit the like button if you like this type of content and like to see more of it. Thank you guys for watching. Be safe. We care about every single one of you. And we'll see you next video. Peace.
ไป